Are you struggling to capture the attention of your target audience? Is your product failing to stand out in a crowded marketplace? Then perhaps it's time to ask whether a rebrand could be key to unlocking your product's full potential. Whether your product has evolved, whether your audience has shifted, or whether you're looking to breathe new life into your brand, product rebranding is essential for staying competitive and matching the ever-evolving needs of your consumers. Sometimes rebranding is actually necessary to revive a stagnant product, maybe due to change in market trends and consumer behavior. Step one, a brand audit. Begin by conducting a comprehensive brand audit to assess your product's current positioning, perception, and competitive landscape. Identify areas of strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities for growth and differentiation. When doing this, you wanna look at your brand as a whole across every touch point and identify where things could be improved, what's holding you back, and what doesn't quite fit with where your brand is headed and also look at your competition and do an audit on how they're positioned, what they are staking claim to in the market and how they're different from your brand and see if you can see any gaps that appear between your competition, the market, consumer needs and where your product can fit in. Number two, rebranding objectives. Clearly define your rebranding objectives, considering factors such as who are your target audience, market trends and business goals and define your key objectives for the rebranding process whether that's to reinvigorate a stagnant brand, whether that's to attract a new audience, whether it's to pivot into a different audience. You have to define what your objectives are in order to guide the strategy of the rebrand. Number three, develop your rebranding strategy. This is where you start to connect the dots between the work you did in the audit stage. So where were the gaps? Where were the weaknesses? Where are your strengths? And then your objectives in step two, what you're trying to achieve, this next part is actually defining the strategy of how you're going to get from where you currently are to where you want to head to. So you need to look at all the different touch points you're going to need to alter or change. What are the main focus points? How are you going to reinvigorate areas such as your brand identity? Is the personality going to change? Are you going to do some comprehensive messaging work? This is the part where you need to think about that process and put it down, map it out and work out how you're going to deliver on a roadmap this rebranding project. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video so far and let us know in the comments, what's your favorite product rebrand? Four, execute your rebranding strategy. So this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you start to roll out that rebranding strategy you've put together. And this is where you need to be really careful and think about all the places that your brand shows up. Take the objectives of what you're trying to achieve and what needs to change, what needs to adapt, what needs to evolve. What areas do you need to push forward with this rebrand? So it might be that you need to redevelop all your packaging. It might be that you're redeveloping the product. It could be that you're looking to update the website, do your marketing campaigns, all the touch points you need to change are part of this rollout, but make sure you have everything itemized beforehand so you know what you're gonna do ahead of time. There's nothing worse than rolling out a rebrand and then you realize three months down the line that there are bits that you haven't reached. You wanna make sure you have an inventory of what you need to do and all the, all the parts of that plan that you did in step three, and then execute it, but make sure you do it in a timely manner in one go, rather than sort of staggering it across multiple different phases, if you can help it. Sometimes you need to do multiple phase rebrands, but if you can do it in one go, it's the best way possible. Once your rebranding efforts are underway, be prepared to tweak and adjust slightly as you need to, to make sure that the project achieves its objectives. So here are some examples of great product rebrands. So firstly, Old Spice. Old Spice rebranded its line of men's grooming products with a bold, irreverent, humorous marketing campaign targeted a younger demographic, successfully rejuvenating the brand and increasing product sales and updated the logo, refreshing the visual identity while staying true to the heritage of the brand. This successfully increased brand awareness, but also maintained heritage, equity, and the history of the brand. It's a very clever rebrand. It was subtle, but it made a difference. Netflix successfully rebranded itself from a DVD rental service to a successful streaming platform. Netflix were ahead of the curve in terms of seeing what was actually happening in the market and in the industry and being the ones at the front of it. There's a great quote from Marty Neumeyer that says, find a parade and be at the front. And that's kind of what Netflix did. They saw something that was arriving, that was on the horizon, that was coming. They understood the technological advancements and they understood the writing being on the wall with regards to DVD rental services. And so what they did was they shifted their position, they rebranded, and they got to the forefront of this 
new wave of technology. MailChimp rebranded its online platform to go beyond just email marketing to offer a whole suite of marketing tools. Everything from social media management to marketing campaigns to even offline marketing such as postcards. They wanted to be the all-encompassing suite of marketing tools for businesses and agencies alike. This rebrand has helped MailChimp stay relevant and not only do that but it's it's sort of it's expanded into new areas with regards to being agency partners that allow them to manage multiple clients underneath the platform. So it's really expanded and grown into its new position in a way that has been really effective and left the competition behind. By following these five steps and drawing inspiration from the examples we've shared, you can navigate the rebranding process with confidence and create a product that resonates with your target audience. Interested to know how powerful your brand currently is? Well, we have an assessment that looks at how strong your brand is where it's weak and what you can do about it. It takes about four minutes and is 25 questions and you can find a link for that in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe using the button below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time a new video drops. Videos come out weekly and they're designed to help you unlock your brand's potential so you can stand out from the competition and create more impact. Have a great day and keep those brands unified.